evening. Uh, thank you once again for joining together with us this uh, wonderful Tuesday. I trust that you had a good day. I had a good day myself and the Lord has been gracious. Uh, this is another moment uh, where we come together and pray and if you are joining us for the very first time, this is Gospel Centers International, the Central Church and we are glad that you are here. Uh, if you are joining us for the very first time, would like you to uh, like our Facebook page if you are watching us on Facebook and if it is on YouTube, subscribe to our channel so that you get to know what it is that we bring you from time to time. I want to encourage you, uh, you know, those that are from our fellowship, uh, please talk to uh, your, your, your growth center members. Talk to your uh, ministry members, to your county members, and tell them to join so that we can have a good time and, uh, you know, we can pray together. This is a season that we do not want to let go. We want to engage with God so that God may continue to bless us. We are in a season of heritage. This is our heritage month, the month of June. We remember what God has done for us. We are grateful. We are thankful. Yes, we are welling out uh, with thanksgiving, but also with the expectation because we know as God has taken us this far, he shall also take us into the future. So God bless you uh, very much as you call your friends. Even your relatives, let them join together with us. And while we are here, uh, just remember that uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, we have our, you know, our growth centers connecting together on Zoom. And it has been such a fantastic you know, fellowship. 
all of us are joining together on the same platform. Then after uh, some few minutes, after some few instructions, we go into our very own growth centers. And let me tell you, the experience as we have been learning on the topic of the Holy Spirit has been tremendous. I want to encourage you, um, you know, connect with us tomorrow on our growth centers. Then on Thursday, we have the you know, Zoom Berean Bible study. And it also has been uh, you know, very powerful. And uh, we have been working through different books, uh, you know, lately uh, in the book of uh, uh, First John. And God has been blessing us. Uh, our resident pastor has brought in a panel that is uh, helping us, you know, to engage. And by the way, you can ask questions. You can also contribute because it is on Zoom. And uh, make sure that you're joining together with your friends and relatives. And uh, if they cannot join on Zoom, tell them to link with us on Facebook because, I mean, on, on YouTube because it also comes on YouTube live. Our Sunday services remain the same. 7.15, our first service. 9.30, our second service. 11.45, our third service. And by the way, people have come back to church. We are already now filling up and almost overflowing. And, uh, you know, we also have um, our Sunday school uh, functional and continuing. I want to encourage you uh, to make sure that uh, you bring in your children. Uh, so that they can also enjoy the blessings that are with us. We want to go before the Lord this wonderful evening. I want to, uh, you know, to ask you to request you, make sure that you're not being distracted. It is good for us to pray. Indeed, it is good to, uh, for us to engage with heaven. So you can put aside the things that are happening there at home. Uh, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we want to thank you, God, for this wonderful time that you have brought us together. This is the day that you made, and Father, we rejoice and are glad in it. Master, in an evening like this, the Bible tells us, so oh God, in the call of the evening, you'd visit Adam, and Father God, you would talk and fellowship with him. I want to pray in the name of Jesus that you shall minister to us, so oh God, as we come together, we want to ask of your presence in our houses, Lord God, even in our homes, oh God, in our workplaces, some of us connecting their cars, I pray that the presence of God shall be with us in the name of Jesus Christ. May you release your power and anointing, and even for us, oh God, that I encourage the saints, I pray that your anointing shall be with us. You shall bless us, oh God. We sanctify this hour, we sanctify ourselves, and we pray, God, may you dwell in the worship, in the praises, and Father God, in the fellowship of the brethren. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. Now, we want to, uh, I want to, uh, to, to exalt you or to encourage you. And, uh, you know, today I want to talk about the story of beginnings, the story of beginnings. And I want us to read from the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 1 to 5. Uh, we can read more, but uh, today let's just read uh, from Genesis chapter 12, uh, uh, verse 1 uh, to 5. The Bible says, Now the Lord had said to Abraham, The Lord had said unto Abraham, not Abraham, unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy, uh, thy father's house, and to Allah that I will show thee. And I will make thee a great nation, I will bless thee, and I will make... Uh, thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I'll, ble I'll, I'll bless uh, them that bless thee, and curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. So Abraham, Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken to him, and Lot went with, uh, went with him. And Abraham was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. And Abraham took Sarai his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their, uh, all their substance, and uh, uh, and all their substance, and they, they had gathered, and the souls that they had gotten in Haran, and they went forth uh, to, to go into the, Cana, into the land of Canaan. Into the land of Canaan they came. Now, this, uh, this scripture was, you know, blessed me a lot. Now, the first verse says, Now the Lord had said to Abram. Now, I came to realize that God had already spoken to Abraham. You know, or to Abram, but there is no record of you know of how he talked. Most of the other times, the Bible says that uh, you know King David or King Solomon sacrificed, and in that evening, you know God came to him in a dream or a vision. Here we are not told the details. 
It only comes later, and the Bible tells us, now the Lord had said, in other words, it was not yesterday night, it is most likely not one week ago, but a while back, maybe a month or two, or even a year, or two or five, and God had spoken, God had spoken, God had spoken to this man called Abram. You know, this reminded me that God has spoken to every one of us at different times. I can testify that actually, you know, before I got born again, God vividly talked to me. It doesn't happen to all the people. In fact, even what uh, Abram experienced has not happened to other people. It has not even happened to me. But I can remember, I had, you know, I knew I needed to get born again. I knew I had to get born again. Now for Abram, God had spoken to him and he had told him of what he needed to do. Now the recordings in the Bible begin by saying, you know, when he began to obey that. Now it says, and I'll make thee a great nation, and I'll bless thee. Those are the words that God had spoken to him. And make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. He had been told, come out of where you are, of the comfort that you're enjoying, and go into a place where you shall be insecure, you shall be, you know, you shall begin a new lease of life, and I shall be with you there. Now, you know, God spoke to the servant of God that started this ministry. And that's why we are talking about the story of beginnings. And let me tell you, it is usually very difficult when you hear God, especially for those that know how to hear God. You know, and he tells you, leave your comfort. Leave the things that you are enjoying in a certain congregation, in a certain place, in a certain nation, and go to another nation. This is exactly what was happening to this man called Abraham. And it is exactly what happened to the people that, you know, answered to the call of Gospel Centers International. In fact, it is now Gospel Centers International. Then, maybe they were just told, go out and begin a mission. What it was to be called was the details that God was to give. Now, I want you to understand that God does not give you the full blueprint of what you need to do. It is actually possible that while God was speaking to Abram, he may have spoken to one of his cousins or maybe one of the grandfathers, or somebody else, but we have nothing to record of them because they never did the most important thing. And this is obedience. Hallelujah. It is important for us, brethren, to know that once God speaks, that word is only good and, uh, you know, fulfilling if we act upon it in obedience and in some two other things that I'm going to mention to us. This is a man who is coming from idolatry and who has his family in a certain place. And God disturbs his comfort. He tells him, you man, I want to separate you. I want to sanctify you. I want to set you apart for a mission that I have. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your family. You know, pick what belongs to you. Go to a certain land. And which is this land? He only tells him it is in the, a land in the east. He does not give him details beyond that. He only tells you it is a land in the east. Just like unto us. You know, God may give you a vision and show you, you evangelizing. And you have never even spoken to one person to get born again. I want to tell you that is the way that God begins with us. And for those that obey, they see the faithfulness of God. They see God beginning to do. It, there was also a man called Moses. And even when God is calling him, after staying 40 years with a father-in-law, and he tells him, go, and I'm going to, you know, to, 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 to use you to rescue my people there, that you left there in, uh, in Egypt. You know, he wouldn't believe it. In fact, he begins saying, I am a stamina of all that. And when you see a few years later or a few months later, this man is accomplishing very great and mighty things. I want to tell you, brethren, we are in for great things, but you need to do three things. These are the three things that you need to do. You need to, first of all, hear and heed. And it is very important. It is important for you, my brother, when a word is spoken to you 
because the word is always spoken to you. Sometimes even from your TV, not necessarily in church, not necessarily by a man of God laying his hands on you. When something is spoken to your heart concerning something that you need to do, you need to hear, and hearing means that you have to heed to it and begin to act upon it. And number two, you need to trust God. If God says that you are going to build one of the biggest you know, churches in your county, I think you just need to believe it. Because it is God who said, trust God. He is the same God that Abraham believed in. And he went you know, to, the, to the land of the east that he was told to go. And there he found his establishment. Indeed, the Bible says he, you know, he waxed ex, you know, exceedingly great and he became very, very wealthy. Why? Because he obeyed the word of God. If he stayed in the place of his dad and his mom, he would only have been limited to the few acres of land that they had and to the few cows that they had. But because he had the voice of God and trusted in God, God manifested his word. You know, when you hear, when you hear and heed, and when you trust in God, it is now the responsibility of God to accomplish his purpose. And the last thing is, you need to obey. Brethren, we need to obey the voice of God. As you are listening to me, as we are beginning to pray, I know God has in the past spoken to you. Yes, you could be 14 years old. You could be 15 years old or 25 or 32. You could be 40 years old and you have had God. Obedience is key. If you told you something 10 years ago and you have not, not begun doing that thing, begin right tomorrow and you shall see the faithfulness of God. So what do we need to do? We need to hear and heed and we need to trust in God and we need to obey our God. Those are the three things that I want to live with you. Like Abram, we can hear God. We can heed to his word. We can trust in him because his word is trustworthy. And we can obey him to see the fulfillment of the purposes of God in our planet. God bless you so much. Thank you for listening to me. Now we want to pray. Uh, today we have a theme of Thanksgiving. Why? Because this is the week that we celebrate. Uh, you know, 30 years of ministry for G uh, Gospel Centers International. On Sunday, you know, the man of God uh, sh 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 shall be helping us to understand how God is leading us into the future. But up to this place, we want to thank God for what he has done for us. And uh, therefore, we want to pray. It's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. Prepare yourself to give thanks. Uh, I want to welcome my brother, uh, our pastor, Mwanda to come and uh, lead us in the first two prayer points. The man of God, he's a missionary, so he's going to lead us in the first two prayer points. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor Alan. And thank you, everyone, who has uh, created time uh, to just sit and uh, a fellowship together with us as we continue. That was a good word, a word of exhortation uh, about the story of the beginning. I uh, want us to go straight and just begin to do thanksgiving, as our pastor has indicated. I um, want to read a scripture in one, uh, Psalms 107 and verse number 8. Uh, this is what I'll read verse number 8, and I will also read verse number 15 and uh, 21. Uh, basically, these are verses that are, uh, point to thanksgiving, I'll, and then I will read the other verses, but we are giving thanks because of his being with us, and up to this far, we can just say he is Ebenezer. And so as a ministry, as GCI, in this season, as Pastor has alluded, we are in a season of giving thanks, of uh, just declaring that this far, he has been the very stone and the very rock that has helped us. Psalms 107 verse 8 says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. 107 verse 9 says, For he satisfied the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Verse 15 says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Verse 16, for he hath broken the gates of brass 
and cut the bars of iron in thunder. And verse 21, O oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Uh, and 107 verse 22, And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. I will repeat that, and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. Then the last verse 31, it says, Oh, that man, again, would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Uh, then the last verse I want to read, which is 32, let them exalt him also in the congregational, in the congregation of a people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. We are the congregation. We are the assembly of those that are gathering together with our elders. I want us to come to God with thanksgiving and just acknowledge that indeed he has been a Beneza. He has helped us this far. Let's open our mouth and begin to give thanks. Hallelujah. Father, we, Father, Lord, we are grateful this a wonderful we evening. Thank you, we God, thank you, Lord, you for this season, O God. You, God. Even as we remember the Father, story of a humble beginning, the story Lord God, of that mighty Father, very humble the beginning, days very, of humble a Lord beginnings. Almighty, tiny Lord, beginning, so God, even in we look to you and acknowledge that your beginning be small, you are your good God, you are great God. I want to thank Thank you, my Father, God, in the name of Jesus, dependable. because you, you are doing Lord, great and mighty you things, O God. With us, you are exalted, GCI, glorified, as, as GCI, magnified, and as you are GCI, highly lifted up, you O God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you have grace, you have taken hold of us, O Lord, we want to thank you, because of your mercy, you have carried us where we did not carry ourselves, where we could not go, in the name of Jesus, you have been with us, O God. We 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 have been Thank you, you God, name. even for, for the YMCA chapel. Master, praise. small beginning, yes, that five beginning people, ten people, oh God. My master, we are here, oh God. And Father God, Lord, in the fullness of time, with that, with we are God. a multitude of men. Servant, Lord oh, this Almighty, is your doing, and it's marvelous in, in our sight. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, and Lord, for he is good. And his wonderful works of hand manifest to the children of men. Oh, that men would give praise to you. We give GCI, you glory. we give you we praise. You GCI, as we God, we men. lift you up. You have we done say you're worthy, you worthy of praise. You are wonderful, O God. Worthy of power, praise. worthy of receive adoration, our adoration, O God. Oh, receive Lord, our thanksgiving. You have us, receive our you sacrifice have of praise. Our souls, o God. In the name we of Jesus Christ, there is no God like unto you. There is no king like unto you. Our hearts are full of praise. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be glorified. We thank you, we praise you, Lord. Master, this is what you have done for us, O God. We glorify you, we praise you, Lord. Master, this is you are wonderful, what you've God. done for us, you God. Are and therefore we we'll lift up your name in the name of Jesus. You are God before us, you have cut the bars of iron asunder. We are God, you are faithful, you are good God. We praise you this hour. You are the stone that has helped us. We put a rock on this place and we say, we give you praise. Indeed, you have been in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for extending your hand with us. That very stone of help. In the, name of, Jesus, has in the us name of Jesus, upon our elders, in the name upon of Jesus, upon our thank you, Lord, pioneers, so God, for even you have blessed them, with God, and Lord, Lord Almighty, you have surrounded us with your peace, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are grateful, we are thankful, we declare your works with joy, we declare your works with gladness, we look to you and tell, say thank you, tell you, we are grateful, we are thankful, we are thankful, for connections of God, with ministers and ministries of God, connection, my Father, with the government of Kenya, that we also have been favored, oh God, because of the nation of Kenya, we bless you, my God, oh, we bless you, my God, you have granted us favor, point, and we, we thank you for it in the name hand. of Jesus Christ. We have witnessed Master, I want to thank you because we, we have, have impacted. We have impacted in people, O God, even Jesus, in the global leadership, my God. You, we thank you. We, we magnify you as a congregation. We exalt you as an assembly. Yes, thank Lord. you, Lord, for the influence that you have given us. We worship you and we honor you. Yes, in Jesus' name.
Amen. 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 Let's just agree together. Father, we are thankful. Yes. Lord Almighty, because you are good God to Thank us. You. Yes. you are faithful. You Thank have shown you. us wonders. Yes. You have shown Our us great God. things, oh God. Shaka you have stretched your hand. You have gone with us. Yes. And this far we acknowledge you have been Ebenezer. Thank you, you have been our help, O oh God. Yes. Why it not for you being with us, O oh God? Yes. We would not have come this far. Mm. We are grateful and we are thankful yes. for everything, O oh God. Yes. And for everyone who was involved. Yes. Lord, are the founders, O oh God Almighty. Shaka, tala, and Zika. everyone, Lord, who has sacrificed Lord, yes. to, 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 to be there. Mm. Lord, we are grateful. We are thankful, O oh God. Yes. As we stand Stand on this platform. Yes. We look, Lord Almighty, to your faithfulness yes. and indeed acknowledge that you have been Ebenezer. Yes. Thank you for the influence, for the grace, for the favor, yes. and for your steadfastness, Lord, towards yes. us. Mm. We are grateful and we are thankful. Yes. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. And somebody say, Amen. 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 Thank you. Uh, we are as, uh, gearing up very well. I uh, want us to continue with the mood of thanksgiving, especially for the beginnings, the Bible records here in Zechariah chapter 4, verse 9. Uh, that, uh, that's about Zerubbabel. That Zerubbabel's hands have laid the foundation of this temple. Amen. And his hands will finish it. So that you will know that the Lord of the heavenly armies Amen. has sent me to all of you. We all know that the hands of Geo were there, the very that humble beginning. And therefore, we pray and we believe that the hands of the servants of God, just the same way God was with Zerubbabel, God has been with his servant, our Geo, Bishop Charles Mlema, and we are grateful that God has been with us. So I want us just to uh, begin to give thanks for these beginnings, that God has been with his servants. Mm. God has been with the people, the founders who have been there, people who have labored to lay the foundation of a temple. Yes. That God has been with us and he will continue to give us grace, yes. even to finish the work, the mandate that he has given us. Mm. Verse 10 says, for who has despised the time of insignificant things? Mm. Who has despised, despised the time of insignificant things? They will rejoice to see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel. These seven lights represent the eyes of the Lord, which are looking throughout the earth. Ha, powerful scripture there. I want us to come to God, brethren, and beloved in your homes, and just raise our voice together, and thank God for the GCI vision and mission. We all know our vision is the great commission fulfilled with excellence. I want us to just come to God with that a vision and begin to thank God that God has given us a vision as it, as it started in the very humble beginning, insignificant. Yes. God has continued to uh, 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 make it better and better. Mm. I want us to thank God for our vision and our mission mm. to evangelize, to raise leaders, mm. and even to, 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 to uh, spread the gospel. I want us to also give thanks to the great, for the great commission fulfilled with excellence. Yes. God has given us a vision, and not just a vision, but also the great commission. So yes. therefore, we want to fulfill. I have said the great commission fulfilled with excellence. Mm. So I want us to give thanks that the great commission is being fulfilled. Amen. We are seeing it fulfilled in counties. We are seeing it fulfilled in cities with excellence. Mm. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. It's only Shaka God who can do this. We want to give thanks. And also we want to give thanks for our international church. We are an international church that excels in evangelizing, mm. in discipling believers, and in raising leaders in this yes. end time. Yes. So I want us to give thanks in these three areas that God has given us a vision mm. and God has enabled us given us the grace to see the end product, great commission fulfilled with excellence. Hallelujah. Even as we evangelize, as we disciple Shaka believers Tala. and raising leaders, go before the Lord and begin to give thanks. 
Father, we want to bless you, O God. We want to lift you, O God, in the name of Jesus. We are grateful, like King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We want to thank you, God, because what you began, it shall come to accomplishment in the name of Jesus Christ. You began a good work. You should bring it to accomplishment in the name of Jesus Christ. You should bring it to accomplishment in the name of Jesus Christ. You should bring it to accomplishment in the name of Jesus Christ. It will not be thwarted. It will not be mighty father. Be, be, be stagnated in any way. Thank you, Lord. Because of the grace that you have released. We are grateful. We are thankful for the beginnings. Yes, Lord Almighty, the beginning, the foundation, O God Almighty, of the gospel centers international. That Lord Almighty, you have continued even Jehovah God to grace us from the very insignificant and humble beginnings. Commission of God, fulfilled in Jesus Christ for the joy that is in our hearts, O God. As we hold the plumb line, Almighty, together with your servants, and see Lord the vision of God Almighty, as we want the great commission fulfilled with excellence. We thank you, Lord Almighty, for the great commission that you have given us, Lord Almighty, that we have, we 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 want to see it fulfilled. With in the name of Jesus so Christ, thank you for we the pray, O God, and play thank the you, blood. Lord Almighty, we pray, Father, for, for even your visitation, the for your help. In the name of Lord Jesus, Lord Almighty, to reach with the gospel. We thank you, Lord, that we are, we are made us a church. That, Lord Almighty, is desiring to fulfill the great commission with excellence as our end product, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, we are thankful for the great Oh God, yes, Lord, as we evangelize you, our nation and beyond, as we disciple people, Lord Almighty, as we raise leaders, oh God, we have every reason to thank you. That Lord, this vision and this mandate appeared very small, very insignificant. You have continued, Lord Almighty, to strengthen and to give grace, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because of your grace. This is your because of your hand, O God, that has a mighty father catapulted us this far. Thy hand that has been with us, O God, from the very humble beginning, from the very significant beginning, in the name of Jesus, we give you glory. We give you thanks, O God. We thank you for the shouts of praise, for the shouts of glory that are hard, Lord Almighty, in our homes, that are hard in our hearts and in our hearts. That indeed you are good God. We thank you and we glorify your holy name. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. In Jesus' name, Father, we are thankful. We are grateful that yes. Lord Almighty, your hand has been with us. Yes. You have, Lord Almighty, graced us, Jehovah God. Even Lord Almighty to uh, 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 fulfill, to see the vision, fulfill the great commission, great commission fulfilled with excellence, O oh God. Yes. We thank you for the mission that you have given us, O oh God. Yes. That Lord Almighty we may evangelize our world. Mm. And Lord Almighty disciple believers and raise leaders. We are thankful that we can see it. Mm. We can Lord witness it. We, mighty, we can mighty Father, even Lord Almighty. I look and see what you have done. Yes. We are grateful. We are thankful for that mighty Father grace that has mighty Father propelled us from the very humble beginnings in YMCA yes. and mighty Father from the very humble beginnings and Lord the steps that baby steps that we have taken. Lord, of course, but God, we acknowledge your hand that has hold, taken hold of us. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. And all yes. of us we say, Amen. amen and amen. amen. I thank you so much. I want now to welcome my pastor again to continue leading us as we continue to give thanks. Welcome, Pastor Alan, again. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Pastor Thomas, for that uh, leading us. Uh, we continue uh, before the presence of God, and we want to, uh, to pray. Now, I want to highlight some few prayer points, and I want you to catch this, uh, to catch this because this is how God has brought us this far. Uh, the ministry began in 1991. That in itself 
is a milestone. And in fact, I want us to pray for milestone. There are about seven that I've listed down. There could be more, uh, but there are about six or so that I've listed down. Now, you know, in 1981, we started nine years later, that is uh, in the year two, around uh, the year 2000, uh, we bought this land you know, from where I'm, minister, I, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm praying from today. Uh, this place is called Tasia, and God granted us permanence in this place. That is one of the, our major milestones. It's one of the uh, maybe second major milestone. And then, uh, you know, after even building the church, uh, GCI was registered as a ministry, as an independent ministry in the year 2006. Some of these things we shall be highlighted, but we want to thank God for them today. Mm. You know, in the year 2006, the year 2007, you know, this ministry was registered as an independent ministry. Then, uh, but in the year 2009 to, uh, up to around 2010, uh, 2011, the, the initial church that was here, about a 700-seater church, was knocked down. And it was, you know, uh, it became this uh, big campus, uh, this big facilitator. And, and that is another milestone that we went through. God granted us resources. And in a period, about six, just six, seven months, we were able to, you know, to go out and come back again and start worshiping in this place. And then God gave, uh, you know, the, our, our bishop, our Jew, you know, the, uh, the desire uh, together with the J committee to begin churches. The first church, our first church, uh, was planted in 2012, around 2012. That is the church in Utawala. And God has been gracious to them. They are doing a fantastic job in Utawala. Yeah. And then there, immediately after that, is when God brought uh, to a Jew that, uh, uh, that vision of RCPS. And that began somewhere in 2013. And then 2014 uh, onwards, we began planting churches. And if you do not know, we have about 22 uh, local fellowships and are happening in a certain place uh, in 18 counties. This is the doing of the Lord, right. and it is marvelous in our sight. Can we go before the Lord and thank him for the milestones? You know, who has despised the days of small beginnings? The book of Job says, though your beginning be small, yet your end shall be very, very great. This is the word for GCI. Let's thank God for those milestones. That is about permanence in this place, about, um, you know, registration. As, a, as an independent ministry, that is about the expansion of the church, that is about, uh, you know, the, the planting of our initial church and RCPS. Lift up your voice. Let's thank God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we want to thank you, God, because you have been doing great and mighty things, oh God. We want to appreciate you, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. You have done wonderful things from 1991. We have seen your faithfulness upon your faithfulness, O God. Indeed, it is you that works in us both to will and to obey. And we testify, O God, like, like Paul, that you who began that good work, you shall bring it to accomplishment. Lord, for the day of the Lord, we want to thank you, my Father, my King, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Christ, for faith, what you have done for GCI God, as a ministry. Da, 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 Lord, we want to commit so these works into your hands. We thank so you for permanence, O God. And not only for GCI Central, permanence, O God, for Utawala Church, permanence, O God. The Lord for the many county churches and, and even Father others that are aspiring, O oh God, to come. God. We pray for yes, permanence yes, in the name of Jesus. Almighty, we thank you, Master, for the registration of this ministry. Of Master, into the vision of that it is. Lord, continue Lord helping Almighty, us, O God, to God, evangelize, Father, to disciple Father, believers, and to raise in leaders in wherever we shall be found. In the mighty name of Jesus, that we may impact this nation, O God, tremendously in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you, God. God, even for the for, for the church plants, so God, in the name of Jesus Christ, you let your hand, my God, manifest God. together we with your people you in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. You are a Indeed, good God, Lord, and you do wonderful things Lord. in the name of Jesus Christ. Was it not you for your hand? Us, oh we will not be we here, and therefore we say, except that the Lord was with us, let Israel say, let Jesus say, yes, we could have been swallowed by the enemy, like he swallowed us. 
many other ministries. But Father, we thank you because you've been with us. We have gone through milestones upon milestones, O God. We celebrate what you've done. Master, among many things, Lord, we have even been able to establish, O God, the youth church. Lord God, the children's church, O God. And it is established. Let glory and honor be yours, O God. Let praise and adoration be unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Now, I want us to pray and uh, give thanks for the top leadership. Let me tell you, uh, we could be having passionate brethren in church, but we, it, we are it not for a very solid leadership that we have had, very consistent, committed, passionate, are people that are sold out to God. I do not think we would be here. And therefore, we need to take time. You know, the Bible says in, in, in 1 Timothy uh, chapter 2 that first of all, prayers and intercession be offered unto those that are in authority. We want to pray for our leadership, the GEC leadership. I want us to take time only praying for the GEC le leadership. They have given us leadership this far. And even going to, into the future, we know that God is going to grant them wisdom and grace to accomplish what? Uh, what God desires of this nation. You know, we want to pray for our geo. That is Reverend Charles Mulema. You know, he has sacrificed. He has been here day and night. In fact, even during COVID, he was here every single day, including Sundays, just to make sure that the, the altar, you know, the sanctuary is, is, is taken care of. And people are being ministered to, even though it is uh, uh, via Zoom. We want to thank God for Reverend Charles. And then we have our DGO, Reverend Titus Katembo. We want to commend him into the hands of God. That God may continue to increase him in grace and in knowledge and in understanding. Our general secretary, you know, our elder, Ernest Najoli, we want to bless this man that have sacrificed their lives, you know, for nothing, you no, know, just to, to, to minister to God. Uh, our national treasurer, you know, Elder Juvenalis Momaji, we want to commit him to the hands of God. He has taken care of our finances. We are able to do one, two, three, four because of his uh, stewardship. We want to pray for that uh, man of God. We also want to pray for Reverend Kennedy, uh, Kennedy Monyoncho and uh, Reverend Steve Morrow, you know, uh, both, both in education and even in missions in our church. We want to commit all of them. Why don't you take some time? We are praying for Gek. We are giving thanks, first of all, for their lives and how God has taken and has used them, you know, to take care of us. Lift up your voice in your houses. Let's pray for Gek. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, God, for the ministry so God, as we have said, and as, uh, as it's written, oh God, in the scriptures, in the book of Timothy chapter 2, that Father God, we first of all offer prayers and supplications and petitions. Lord, that when we do this, we shall live peaceable lives. Lord, I want to thank you, God, for men of God that work in love and in togetherness. I pray that you shall bless them in the name of Jesus. You have blessed them this far. I pray that you shall continue taking care of them, extending your hand of favor Lord, over their lives. That Remember our Jew. I want to pray for good health in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God, for Mama Nelly. In Jesus' name, we thank you for the DG. Oh God, Reverend Titus. And we thank you, God, for Pastor Queen. We bless them in the name of Jesus. Elder Juvenalis Ogam. And Master, even the wife, we bless them in the name of Jesus. Elder Anesh Ogam. And Priscilla, we bless them in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for Pastor Kennedy. Lord God, even now. We, uh, and Pastor and Rachel, we bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Priscilla I thank you, God. Children, oh God Even for Reverend Steve Morrow and Grace, we bless them in the name of Jesus. We pray, my God, that you should walk with them. Walk with them, oh God. Talk to their lives, encourage them, uplift them, oh God. Provide for them. Give them health. Protect them from harm and danger, from calamities and disasters, accidents and mishaps. Let your glory, my Father, be manifest in their lives in the name of Jesus. We bless the servants of God. We declare the glory of God, the grace of God, the presence of God. We declare the power of the risen Christ over their lives of God. Oh, we give you honor, Jesus. We give you praise, O God. Thank you, Father, for what you've done in their lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. I want to welcome my brother, my brother, Pastor Thomas, to continue with us in Thanksgiving and do the last prayer point. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Alan, uh, for leading us very well that far. I want us now to 
give thanks for the success of RCPS initiative. As we have heard, uh, it was birthed, uh, uh, the vision of RCPS was birthed around 2013, 2012, 2013 there. And I want us just to come to God with thanksgiving. I want to read a scripture in Matthew 28, Matthew 28 verse uh, 19 and 20. Uh, it's a very uh, key scripture there that I want us uh, to read together. And I'm reading, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Then verse 28, uh, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And then amen. So I want us just to give thanks uh, to that, uh, 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 that, portion, uh, 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 that uh, uh, area, successful, area, uh, uh, successful uh, the success that we have witnessed so far in that area of RCPS initiative. RCPS, uh, it stands for Rapid Church Planting Strategy, and this is a strategy that God gave us uh, to fulfill, uh, to see Great Commission fulfilled with excellence. So let's come to God and just give thanks, because Hallelujah. indeed our God, Jesus, has been with us as his, he promises in uh, Matthew 28, 20, that, Lo, I will be with you always. Uh, I'm with you always, indeed, we can testify that the Lord has been with us. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh, we thank you and we bless you for this wonderful, Master, wonderful and great Lord Almighty uh, 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 initiative that you gave us. We thank you, Lord Almighty, because of your last God, words, a great a commission. A great Lord Almighty, is not a great suggestion, it's a great commission that you have given us. The Lord Almighty, we may go and teach all the nations, all the world. Thank you, my Father, in the name of Jesus, and Lord Almighty, teaching them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Master, for walking with us. Thank you, God, for the counted As Lord Almighty, your word commands us. We thank you for your presence that has been with us, O God. We want to thank you, even Lord Almighty, for this great initiative, the rapid church planting strategy. Lord, the initiative has been successful. Thank you for the church. Of the grace that, that you have given us, your people so God in the name of Jesus, Master, you have walked, O God, even with the counties. And the Lord, counties. Lord, I want to pray in the it's name of Jesus, even in places we that you have not. You, we give you Father, put our hearts, that you have gone before to God. us, O God. You shall help the us in the name of Jesus. We shall go to glory, we shall go to Tukana, we shall go to Pokot in the name of Jesus, Master, we shall be found, even Jehovah God, even in Lauta, Master, we shall be found, O God. Ethnic, oh, so go. Lord Almighty, in with the gospel, in the name of, in the Jesus, name of Jesus, we shall be found the great right for the God in Bilgoma, with in the name of Jesus, is our we desire, Lord, and you have been mighty Father of God, thank you, Jesus, because of your presence that has continued to we shall be found in us, that has continued, Lord Almighty, to our mighty Father of God, even to fulfill his great commission, is a great commander, is not a great secretary, Bound. Lord, let the this grace we continue. Let that this you have grace chosen us to be in the name of Jesus of Christ. Change. Every impediment of the we gospel, the in the name of Jesus, resistances from devils, we thank you and we bless you. God in those we refuse we every unmighty father of Jesus. A barrier. We, we God come God against them in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus we Christ. continue, Lord, we to advance that mighty father shall stand against you. Lord, Almighty, the gates of our land, our nations, the gates of our tribes, the gates of our communities in, your, in, your in God, the mighty like name of Jesus Nara, Christ. Master, your we grace, thank you, Lord, and for the God, grace your presence, oh God, and the divine speed that, that you have given Jesus. us this oh, power. Lord Almighty, continue to grace us that the divine speed will not, Lord Almighty, fall in any way. It will not, Lord Almighty, even Jehovah God, go down in the name of Jesus. Let your grace propel us. Let your grace 
Let's advance us, O God. Oh, now our own, we cannot, O God. We thank you and we bless you for the leadership of RCPS. Yes, For our pastors, O God. Yes. For IT Father, the assemblies, O God. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the grace of expansion. The grace of enlargement. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Oh God. We thank you that even in difficult times, yeah, yes. you have strengthened, Lord Almighty, the churches. Yes. Because, Lord, it's you are doing. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Let's just agree together briefly. Lord, thank you for this great, great uh, initiative of rapid church planting strategy. Yes. This far we have witnessed success yes. and we are grateful as a church. Yes. As we reflect back, Lord, we just say thank you. Thank you, thank you for your, 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 your hand and yes. thank you for your grace and yes. thank you for giving us growth and expansion. Yes. We give you glory and we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yes, let me welcome my pastor Alan again so that he can help us to finish up. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you very much, my uh, Pastor uh, Thomas Munda. And I want to thank you for taking time to be with us this evening. I trust that you have been blessed. Let's uh, continue in the mood of thanksgiving. God has done great things for us in the, last, uh, in the last 30 years. We need to continue giving him thanks. And I know that he also has blessed you. Let me just pray uh, for us. Father, in the name of Jesus, there could be a need, O oh God, in the houses, O oh God, that are watching us tonight. I want to pray, my God, that we shall intervene for every one of us that has a need. Master, be it of sickness, I pray for healing in the name of Jesus. Be it, O oh God, of a, a certain breakthrough. I pray that you shall intervene. Send your angels, O oh God, as ministering spirits to them. I want to pray, O oh God, for restoration because that's what you have, uh, you have assured us that you're giving us, O oh God, in a season like this. Master, may you be glorified in these houses. And Lord, even as we go to sleep tonight, I want to pray for a good night's sleep. I pray that you shall watch over us and, Father God, magnify your name in our lives. We give you honor, praise, and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, we we pray. Amen and amen. Shalom and good night. Hello viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It's our prayer that you have been nourished and edified. Remember, this service is not complete without giving. To do so, use M-Peso pay bill number 844-632. Account number, offering, or type, or shipfold redemption, or any other. You can also use our equity bank account number 10802968495338. Account name Nairobi Gospel Center International. In need of prayers, counseling, or inquiries, reach out to us on 0725 255 941 or 0734 662 577. May our good Lord richly bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you, now and forevermore.